12,000 years ago in the lower Colorado River Valley, ancient hunters navigated by sightings of Castle Dome Peak. Ancient sayings held that the peak sees all valleys and all valleys see the peak. Today, the peak also sees one of the Defense Department's most modern test centers, the U.S. Army's Yuma Proving Ground. YPG is the center of a major test facility possessing large amounts of land space and air space. Space permitting the conduct of a wide variety of testing, meeting a wide variety of missions including aircraft armament testing, artillery, air delivery, automotive equipment, and a wide variety of materiel for the American fighting man. Materiel which demands a variety of large amounts of terrain, terrain which YPG can provide. A varied topography, including sandy flats, desert plains, and mountain ranges with rock-strewn canyons. A vast uninhabited area which permits safe testing of hazardous and experimental equipment, all within controlled airspace. Yuma Proving Ground is 56 miles west to east. and 56 miles north to south, spreading across the southwestern corner of Arizona. Near ideal testing weather and nearly unlimited controlled airspace over the ranges have supported a steady growth of testing workload. In these specialties, both the Cibola and Kofa ranges are covered by adequate controlled airspace. On the east, shown in yellow, is R2308A, covering 1,500 feet above ground level to 80,000 feet mean sea level. The small black area represents R2308B, extending from 0 to 80,000 feet. R2306B and R2306A, illustrated in red and green respectively, provide airspace from surface to 80,000 feet. The blue portion, known as R2307, covers the entire Kofa range area. Clearance is from zero to unlimited altitudes, allowing test firings of all artillery weapons at any angle of elevation. This is the primary area for test and evaluation of aircraft armament systems. This major commodity group has experienced a dynamic growth in scope and complexity of test requirements. The Cibola range has been developed to accommodate these increasing demands for aircraft armament development testing. Support to the Cibola range is geared to air operations. In addition to the varied natural advantages of terrain and the large ground and airspace, dynamic and rapid advances of military technology have made increasing demands on the range for sophisticated test instrumentation and communications in order to assure rapid and reliable scientific data collection and feedback. There is the advanced meteorological system. Three 100-foot meteorological instrumentation towers. Four temp wind speed and direction, vertical wind data, relative humidity, and barometric pressure, all transmitted in real time to a central computer facility. There is a real-time scoring capability using an overhead television camera trained on ordnance impact points. The system feeds back aiming errors and missed distance data, which can be viewed for immediate evaluation or reviewed at a later time using the videotape record of the event. Recent test launches of the tow missile have utilized the Cibola range systems. All of Yuma Proving Ground is tied into a range-wide common standard timing system, which develops inter-range instrumentation group or IRIG time formats. 
synchronizing pulse signals and time within 100 microseconds resolution are fed into all instrumentation systems. Technological advances and expanded mission requirements have stimulated dynamic developments in test data collection, data reduction, and readout. A major goal on the range was attained with the advent of the real-time data acquisition systems for test coordination, control, and data reporting. The system relies upon a complex precision aircraft tracking system consisting of three laser trackers, the RMS-2, the advanced meteorological system, backup radar, and a series of graphic displays to present a variety of required data online to test operators and controllers. Immediate batch process produces quick look and final plots of test data and reduces costs through facilitating decision making, either concurrently or within a few hours of progress of test events. In addition to Army test programs, support and testing of Navy and Air Force projects are frequently conducted on the Cibola range. The COFA firing range is the site of most of the artillery testing, which accounts for the majority of YPG's test workload. All caliber weapons currently in the Army can be fired at their maximum range from the 9,000 meter front. Additional positions along the 65,000 meter range allow special test conditions or the use of instrumented impact areas. Outstanding visibility combined with sparsely vegetated terrain permit recovery of test munitions and outstanding optical coverage. The range is instrumented with sophisticated optical and electronic instrumentation capable of acquiring interior and exterior ballistic data. Muzzle velocities are measured and recorded by radar and optical means, including firing through coils mounted on towers. Trajectories are tracked by a variety of radars, supplemented by special optics near the firing position. Terminal ballistics data and target effects are acquired by high-speed optical instrumentation, including a YPG-developed range theodolite using shaft encoders to provide printed output for determination of range and deflection. Impact areas are established and instrumented to provide terminal ballistic data at 14,000 meters, 27,000 meters, and 40,000 meters. Firing sites on adjacent ranges supplement the COFA range with special range needs. For instance, the moving target range provides a moving target with remote control and scoring capability using video techniques. Or the graze impact range where fuse functioning can be analyzed as projectiles strike mud, macadam, grass, or gravel surfaces. But the large uninhabited spaces, the controlled airspace, and the excellent climatic conditions alone do not make the COFA range the outstanding test facility it is. A modern range support facility is an important part of YPG's artillery testing capability, including a new ammunition preparation facility where special handling systems for assembling ammunition have been designed and developed by the skilled technicians and engineers of YPG. The most modern weapon shop on any range permits simultaneous repair, inspection, and modification of several of the Army's largest weapon systems and combat vehicles. The outsized nature of some test items has made necessary a facility of huge physical space and volume, and handling tools of gigantic proportions, such as a 40-ton crane, to handle innovative modifications of existing weapons as well as prototype testing. With an adjacent environmentally controlled area for physical inspections and measurement, including magnetic particle inspection, star gauging and bore scoping, and optical tooling for measurements to the micro inch. Similar capability exists for projectile measurements, including center of gravity and moments of inertia. A custom-designed X-ray facility permits evaluation of projectile structural integrity as well as internal arrangement and configuration. 
Dynamic environmental tests are performed in the shake test facilities, which also include extreme temperature ranges. Test specifications for many ammunition components require that vibration testing be conducted at both elevated and depressed temperatures. The vibration facilities at YPG include portable environmental chambers that are capable of sustained extremes of minus 100 degrees and up to plus 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Other climatic environmental simulation capabilities on the proving ground are known as LEMPEC. This large, multi-purpose environmental chamber can reach temperatures of plus 180 degrees down to minus 80 degrees. There are also chambers for testing under salt fog conditions and rain environment. Another YPG mission is the testing of systems to permit the aerial transportation and delivery of combat materiel. Adjacent to the Laguna airfield, the Parachute Preparation Facility takes care of the inspection, maintenance, packing and rigging for air delivery. Airdrop qualification of ammunition requires airdrops as well as low altitude parachute extraction system or LAPES techniques. These tests are conducted primarily over three major drop zones and special impact sites, which have been specially developed to accommodate on separate sites air delivery of explosives, air delivery of non-explosive items, and air delivery of personnel. Non-explosive aerial delivery testing was conducted for durability and reliability trials of the family of military engineer construction equipment nicknamed Famiki. Air delivery of the Universal Engineering Tractor was tested with LAPES techniques. This is another example of exploitation of several capabilities. After post-drop inspection, the vehicle goes through subsequent performance tests. Where needed, teardown and inspections are made for possible damage. Typical of tests involving personnel is the test of the Dragon Jump Pack. Live drops by aircraft are supplemented by a static drop facility, permitting tests of rigging with low risk to expensive loads. An instrumented controlled impact drop facility for pre-testing air deliverable equipment can simulate ground impact of an airdrop load to determine the forces and stresses that a load will be subjected to during actual delivery. An outstanding illustration of the benefits of air delivery testing of ammunition and weapons at YPG is the Copperhead test. The Copperhead, a cannon-launched, terminal-guided projectile, was airdropped over Yuma. After inspection by in-house ammunition experts, it was fired by a military gun crew on the Kofa range. Another important capability is the testing of automotive equipment. One of the early uses of this area by the Army was the bringing out of men and equipment to the harsh desert terrain as General Patton prepared his forces for the assault on North Africa. While still used by the Army, Navy and Air Force plus NATO allies as a desert test center, the excellent testing facilities and proximity to West Coast producers has expanded automotive testing to a year-round effort. Automotive test facilities have expanded accordingly, permitting a variety of both durability and performance tests of both tracked and wheeled vehicles. Durability testing is conducted on a variety of courses, ranging from the rugged hill courses to the level cross-country courses, as well as a variety of special courses and sites, including the side slope courses and the paved slopes for testing a vehicle's capability to negotiate steep grades. The dust course, said by one vendor to be worse than anything in nature, 
used to evaluate air cleaners and filters. And the rock course. Vehicle turning circles measure capabilities of equipment and their fields of fire and fields of vision. A fording basin and other water testing courses are available, as well as mud areas and high concentrations of alkali for testing a vehicle's susceptibility to corrosion. These courses are augmented by the use of off-post sites, including the nearby sand dunes for mobility testing and controlled sand slopes, the Yuma Railroad Yards for hump tests, Oatman grade for testing road maneuverability and braking capacity on oversized vehicles. Death Valley National Monument for operation in extremely hot conditions. And the Navajo Depot facility and the nearby San Francisco peaks for high elevation testing. Vehicle performance testing. Draw bar pull and cooling is conducted on two dynamometer courses. A two-mile prepared asphalt course with eight-tenths percent grade and turnarounds at either end. Or on a 900-foot sand course. Speeds are from 2 to 35 miles per hour with dynamometer pulls of 5,000 to 100,000 pounds. The system consists of a series of dynamometers and absorption trailers for strain, force, temperature, vibration with fluid flow transducers, a 14-channel FM tape recorder and an 18-channel oscillograph simultaneously recording test data. Climatic conditions permit double use of the dynamometer facilities. From the extreme temperatures in the summer, with five and a half months of average temperatures greater than 90 degrees, including three months of over 100 degrees, with temperature highs exceeding 115 degrees, to the winter, where for six and a half months, temperatures range on the average from 40 to 90 degrees, and for a week or so, early morning temperatures reaching as low as 30 degrees. Backing up the test facilities is the YPG Petroleum Laboratory, which includes emission spectrographs and spectrophotometry, and other supporting facilities, including fuel and lubricant evaluation, requiring standardized blending and testing. Tire evaluation testing is supported by a variety of natural and artificial courses, backed up by the holographic tire inspection system used to discover potential points of failure in tires. Using low-power laser illumination, technicians produce three-dimensional record photography of inner surfaces of tires to detect internal defects. Maintenance capabilities of test vehicles at YPG include level three and level four maintenance. This support includes a dust-free teardown area, machine shops, and welding facilities. The interplay between test facilities is illustrated by the transportability test on the MIC-V, using the expertise of both automotive and air delivery engineers. A common occurrence is the combination of mobility and firing tests. A recent example was the DT-2 of the XM-1 tank. Many of the laboratories and shops supporting artillery testing are also available for vehicle testing including the x-ray facility, metallurgical testing, and environmental simulation, such as the use of the LEMPEC for determining the M113's ability to start under extreme cold conditions. YPG, a wide variety of missions. Aircraft armament, artillery, air delivery, and automotive materiel backed up by a wide range of support facilities. Logistic and administrative support for test personnel and test customers. The heart of the proving ground is its dedicated specialists, engineers and technicians, civilian and military who operate the proving ground of the future. Assisting customers in designing tests, analyzing data, evaluating materiel, and developing the test instrumentation for tomorrow and the future. Many developments which are in use today, including data acquisition with video, 
laser track solar power instrumentation, and real-time data handling. The entire Yuma Proving Ground has been planned and engineered in a future-oriented process to test and evaluate existing weapons and supporting materiel while remaining open-ended in order to accommodate what lies ahead. The major demand areas have been artillery, navigation systems, aircraft armament, and air delivery and transportability systems, with emphasis on highly reliable data collection and quick-look readout. This land of testing under Castle Dome, this vast ground and air arena of extreme ambient temperatures, varied terrain, instrumented ranges, and test courses is constantly under improvement, keeping pace with inevitable change. Additions and improvements are a continuum that carries the capabilities of YPG into instrumentation, data collection, and responsive reporting, thus maximizing the scope and validity of every test event. Test times have been compressed, test costs have been reduced, while capabilities have been increasing in order to accommodate any weapon system in the inventory. With ranges, courses, laboratories and shops, manned by professional scientific engineering and technical personnel, both civilian and military, all at one location, all at this test land, under Castle Dome, the U.S. Army Yuma Proving Ground, the proving ground of the future.